Hi there, it's Tanya from Tutty Treasures. Hello. So uh, this is the last project I'm going to do um, in the... What is that? <laughs> in the Foxglove uh, Forest theme. And it's another no so project and just, you know, one, one video. So I've got these um, exercise books little bit like small composition books the cover is quite thick um, and I've had these for ages thinking you know I'm going to do something with them and now is the time so they have got a little bit of a spine you know like a, a eighth um, so we're going to make a no so book from these so I've just gone in my <coughs> uh, where I keep my papers to get some um, <clears throat> sheets, you know, for the insides, and I'm just going to start by folding them all up. So I've got a couple of uh, book page ones, a botanical, and then um, you know a countryside one. I've got some. Uh, dotted note paper with this nice top which I've uh, tea stained I think I've picked out about 10 so that's three I've got some um, vellum some really thin vellum probably more tracing paper than vellum That's that one. Quite crumpled, but that's that's fine, and it'll give it a, just a nice uh, sound. Love that crackly noise. Love that one of those. This one's got a lovely pattern, and so is that one. That was with my um, lace plastic lace um well it was a tablecloth and I cut it I cut it up into A4 um sizes that's beautiful so I think I've got two sheets for each one of tea stained Then I've got these, I think Denise sent me these that are a bit like, you know, um, ledger. Uh, some lined, which is actually out of that book. That's what I do sometimes, you know, buy, buy a notebook and take all the pages out to, uh, to stain it. A couple of pages from... Um, I think it's Victorian household. Uh, Denise sent me these. Okay, so we've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so let's build them. Um, build them all. I'm gonna have that one in the middle. I'm gonna have one like that so you can see through it.
I'm going to pat down to, to get them all to, to the bottom because I'm obviously going to have to cut some, cut some off to get it to uh, fit. So that's that one. Let's do this one. Okay, so that's that part done. I'm going to put that one to one side and work on that one off screen. Let me pick <coughs> something for the front first. So these are uh, the book pages that I've got left from the Ladybird uh, book. those two I can go underneath here that's it I'll be putting putting that box away after today so they're gonna be uh, the front right, I'll just pop that down there so let's get an idea of size and I think Keep it simple. I'm just gonna go around with my pencil like so, and I will cut just in from uh, the pencil. I have changed my blade if you've been watching over the last week, so you'll be glad because <laughs> it was so. Um, so blunt it was taken for ages oh sorry let me just reach and get this board okay so i'm just going to go under the line just realized i've not got my glasses on probably a good time to put them on yeah, I'm just going under it, aren't I? So it's a little bit smaller. So not pressing too um what's the word? Just pressing lightly. Okay, so that's the, the top, and then we'll just do this just under there. Yep. Wanting to veer off. Ooh. Might be how I'm sitting, I'm a bit diagonal to um to the board.
lid on. <clears throat> so hopefully that will, that will be okay. Ooh. It's just got those corners. I don't really want to round every single one, <laughs> one off. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to get rid of those because, you know, they're just really small strips and I have got lots of uh, strips. And just put that to one side because I'll be doing that on the other one. Let's give it a bang. <laughs> Find the middle. Like so, right, I want a clip. Just gonna clip that there. Could do with another, another clip. I'm just go in this uh, a draw. Okay, so that's that. Um, I'm going to want something to tie it because that's the way that we're, we're doing it. <laughs> so let's have a look what I've got in my basket. You're not going to see it so it doesn't it doesn't even matter. Um, you're going to see it in the in the middle but you're not going to see it come coming out of here. Um, I might keep that out and I've got this pink material I might keep out um, I don't want to use that blue because it's too too pretty um, let's grab the seam binding have you even got any So I'm just going to go with the neutral um, seam binding. Just cut so much, much off. So, so we've got it. I'm going to probably want something to push it through with. So I'm going to use one of those. I don't know what you call them. And I'm going to get my puncher out and I don't know if I want to set it how far no that should probably be okay so I've not got it set I'm gonna go as far um in as I can I suppose I'm gonna want to go a little bit flat hmm. Maybe clipping it short isn't a good idea. Maybe I need to make sure it's in the edge and clip it like so. Just make sure none's hanging out. Yeah, that's better. Right, so. No. Aim for, uh, you know, the, the crease. Oh, come on. What's that? Oh, there's still some in. Okay, I think that's that. Yeah. Go on the uh, crease. So, and like so. Okay, so we've got two two holes. So I'm wondering if to like go in and out twice. So if I went in that way that way 
then I would come out that way. Yeah. So I'm going to go in from the outside. I'm just folding it down okay then I'm gonna go let's make it a bit shorter that has got one of those joins so I'm gonna take that off because it makes it lumpy so I'm glad I did uh, <laughs> cut, cut quite a bit off so let's bring that back in a little bit more okay it looks all a bit sticky that end is so try and get that through I've got a pokey thing if I need one and I think I'm gonna It's all right having a pokey thing, but it needs to pull that down a little bit. That's better. I don't think it's helping because it's sticky. And I'm just pulling that through. Same with this side. So, okay, so I maybe should have tightened, tightened it first. What's that one? Just try and tighten them as much as possible without ripping into your into your hole. And I'm gonna tie that off. So I'll open it that way, and I'm just gonna do it into a knot. I don't feel like that's gonna be. <coughs> Enough. We can see if it's not, then I've only done it but one knot. Oh, that's plenty. Yeah, lovely. Right. So I'll tie it again, like so, and then I will cut, cut that off. Okay, so I've got a nice long piece and, and a little piece, which will be fine for, for a tag uh, topper at some point. Right, yeah, that doesn't move at all. Um, I probably should have caught um, these threads off before I started the note, but was, um, you know, all sewn, sewn in. It's okay with that. Lovely. So, I'm wondering if there'd be enough room to slide some um, more papers in because it's definitely, you know, got, got the room. Yeah, it feels really nice. Nice. Okay. Let's cut those up there for later. 
So I've got my box of um, my book pages and bits of um, ledger. Let's have a look. Bits of music. Oops. Why those envelopes are in here? Must have been something that I was doing. Let's take those out. So I'll take two of those out. And then some the long ones take those out put some just small oh they'll probably be be a good size Be enough to add some um, extra extra pages. Now you could either do them as a tip in, um, <coughs> you know, add some washi on them. I'm going to see if I can slide any uh, through because obviously that's. Um, and it should be tight enough to to hold them them in. Yeah, let's put that one in there for my other one. So this one I'll bend it a little bit. That feels as if it's <laughs> it's enough. Okay. Yeah, nice. Obviously, it's all all nice and springy <laughs> till it uh, learns to to lay flat. So we need to do something with the cover, and I was thinking of. In. I quite like that with a grey around it. I was going to totally cover um, the front and then put the picture on top, but I do like that. I wonder what it's like with that down. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to round <coughs> the corners. In fact, let's do let's do a fancier fancy one. Make sure it's in properly. I've got better at remembering to put it upside down. Okay. 
can't look at that. I was just thinking, shall I put any uh, anything behind it at all? But no, I do like it. Right, so I'm going to ink, ink around that and uh, get that stuck, stuck down. If you're if you've got an exercise book <coughs> and it's not very um, thick then you know cover it with something else on on either side to to thicken it thicken it up okay I'm just gonna do it like so make sure I get around the ends If the pages straight, just get that glue off. Give it a good, good rub while it's wet, and it'll just, just flake away. But yeah, I don't think that's hundred percent straight. like that it looks um quite rustic yeah that's nice so that's that and i'm gonna put some of this pink down there i'll take some down the side I hope it rips. Oh yeah, nice. Just take some of the fraying off. I think I quite fancy the fraying um, at the front. I'm going to do it a tiny bit bigger and there'll be enough for, for the other one as well. I'm just looking at it just to see. I mean, obviously, I'll put a label and stuff on, but I'm just. I'm just wondering if I want anything. Anything else. I mean, I could put an eyelet in there and have a tie. That would make it pretty um, on the side if I use some pink. So that would give it something there and then perhaps, you know, a label 
a date or something and a label there. That might be all it needs. Let's let's put this down and then I'll find some either pink ribbon or pink seam binding. So I'm just gonna put glue on this front part first. I don't want to go over it. I mean if you wanted you wouldn't have to cover um this bit. Um you know you might have wanted to then reuse your cover um and undo it and then put new new pages in. Might have been better doing it with with string but I was just thinking string might be a little bit um and I perhaps should have put the knot in the middle uh, instead of it being on the outside making sure you can't see see the black yeah lovely I'll do the same on the back Oh, mind you, it doesn't matter if I go over because I want to go over because the material's uh, longer, so I might as well just take take the material um, over. But I'll get that bit glued first. Well, that bit's drying. I'm going to look for some um, pink seam binding. Or oh, I've got pink. It's more coral. Pink ruffle, find a pink seat band, and some purple. Ooh. I mean, I could rip some of that down, I suppose. That's dusty rose, and that's rose, rose tea. It's a little bit darker it's purple ribbon I mean that's kind of nice colours for that let me just undo it and see whereabouts in there um, colour it is on, on the ends Okay, my camera cut out. So I've just cut that down and I've glued it at the back. It's still still wet. It will dry uh, clear. So that's that. I've cut some of that um, seam binding, what we was looking, looking at. So I'm going to hope that I'm going to put a hole through there and it's not going to go through my papers. And I'm just doing that so the holes in the same same place yeah that's super okay let's uh, put a put an eyelet in don't want to go for the 
creamy one. It's like a greeny, a greeny creamy. That's a beigey one. I hate it when colours are quite close. Yeah, that's the same. Okay, that's a uh, pop button. And that one. I've gone a bit low down, haven't I? But <clears throat> I don't suppose, I suppose it matters. I was <coughs> more um, worried about going through my pages. Oh, oh what am I doing? Oh, Tanya. I wonder if I'll be able to get that. Yeah. I think it'll be <coughs> be all right. Let's um, let's have a look. I'm thinking this will this will hide it if I can get it through. That's my pancake. Okay. Don't pull on it too hard, it might come come off. I don't want to take it out in case it rips <coughs> rips the cover. Okay. And uh, this one. those see what that looks like if I can get oh that's pretty let's see what's that Pull that one out a little bit more. There we go. Okay, lovely. Okay, so that's that. <coughs> and then um, I got one of the foxgloves out, which I thought would go nice there. The bit that was left. I made a little bow that might want something behind it um, so let's start by sticking that down And on to at the bottom. Let's move that leaf a bit so it's not hanging over the bottom. I might find a tiny little, there is a little butterfly on there, but I might find another one. So I'm wondering about some uh, like say, <coughs> wool or something um, behind behind that. So that might be too dark. I've got a bit of lace. Some more fluffy. In there, it's not. 
Tapeology. There was about oh I don't know fifteen twenty of of these um, all different colours, which comes in very handy if I remembered that I've got them. I'm just winding it back on. What's that? Right. <laughs> I think there's too much there, but let's take the straighten the net back up. Don't know where that came from. Um, and I think I can just do it round. I think I'm lost or... Just leave that there a second and think about it. Let's put those back up there, like, I think. Um, or we could go for, you know, I'll cut that down. Go for that or that or both. Kind of. Yeah, both might be nice. Let's cut that down. I want to go as wide as the mm, just under. So okay, so I've cut that lace down and I've put those pink and white bits where that come from nowhere. <laughs> and I think that looks a lot nicer. And then I thought, what about getting a, a ball pen? Of course, they're on the, in the last um, one underneath everything. Uh, Keep them on the desk um, and put a charm on. I think I've got some little deers somewhere. That'd be nice. Or do I want something different? Could I have a dragonfly? A dragonfly would be nice. What's the picture of the, on the other one? Did I pick a fox or. Oh, it was the squirrel, wasn't it? And it was a bit autumn. Autumn. That's too. I'm gonna pick that one for the other one. Okay, I'm gonna have to put those back down there because I can't move otherwise. And I've put that one at the bottom again. Oh, right. So where's Thinking I can attach. The bow to the lace. If I can 
finger is through without stopping myself. They look very sharp, are they? I don't think. Until it goes through your finger and then it's the sharpest thing ever. Right, I think I'm through now, like. Probably would have been better stabbing it into something. That's it. I was half thinking, shall I attach the wall? But I don't think the wall's big enough to to attach. So that's on there. Right, that's. I'm going to dub some glue on here just to try and get those little threads to kind of stick and then if I put a biggish blob there like a like a bone, pop that down a little bit, right I'm just going to keep that <coughs> over there to see if it um, does adhere down. Let's um, think about, um, I'm just going to put them like that, I'm going to do a lot in that though, I think that's a dead nice actually, so I'm going to Okay, just leave that there like so. Right, let's look at um, labels. That might be way too too big, but I do like the southwest boundary. Let's just cut on that off. I could have that up there. Feel like now I'm trying to go too too square. If I put it there, I do like it there. Let's um, I don't know what colour that is. I think it's black. That one's. Hmm. I don't suppose it matters, does it? Does it? I don't know. Let's um maybe, maybe just that. I think let's ink around it. I don't really want to put anything else behind um, this because I think we've got quite a bit going. 
going off. Yeah, I like that. Let's pop that on. Just a little. Yeah. Ooh, that's lovely. Right, let's find down um, a little butterfly. And I'm just going to cut into there a little bit, give it a bit more shape. do like that once it's been um, inked around. That's not one of Tim Alt's one. No blue in it, is there apart from the apart from the sky? Ooh, maybe that's better. Pop that on. Yeah, I think that just fills it out a little bit, a little bit more. Go around here. Look at that white, white covered. So, do I want it? Yeah, that's where I want it. And on the bait. Just twist it a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. I wonder if it wants something. Something up there. Where was that other butterfly that I was going to put on? No. That's too big. Nope. Ooh. I like that. Or I could put, I think that might be a little bit out of proportion. And to get his tail right, I'm going to have to twist it. Uh, funny. But yeah, I think the owl looked not nice up there. Let's just 
some milk. I don't know if I'm quite like it. Uh -uh. Think about it. Think that I might have to pause in a second. Ryan's brother's just arrived to help Ryan move some slabs. Um, Colin may bark a lot. Depends. Sometimes he does. Sometimes he doesn't. Yeah, I like that. I like how there's, you know, things coming, coming off. I'm going to try another um, No, it's too, too cramped. No. Right, what did I say? Um, another thingy. Thingy my jig. I don't know if I've got any small ones. But I have got some. I think it needs to be something, um, you know, really cut to, to the edge, not something with any um, white. Obviously, that's going to be too big. I don't think they came any um, smaller, but I could take that part off. It wouldn't particularly ruin um, that. I was kind of thinking in the distance. No. What about some grass? Quite like that. It just makes makes the picture um, you know, bigger. Just brings it brings it out. Tiny and I, same size. Ooh. Yeah, I'm liking that. I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't think there's anything. Another small piece. No, I like, I like that. There's a tiny fox here, but that changes the whole um, the old story, doesn't it, of the picture? Right, yeah. Let's do. Let's do that. I wish I had a tiny little snail or something.
don't think a sticker would would work even though that would make it look as if it's more it's more in the background I don't think I've got one teeny tiny uh, enough do I want to add Down. Yeah, I like that. I'm just gonna dab that so it covers the the white from where I've just ripped it. <coughs> yeah, I do like that. I think it just brings that the darkness of the of these in. Oh, I don't know now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that is that. I really like it. Yeah, that's lovely. So you've definitely got room to, to add some uh, pockets and, and things like, like that. Um, I, I think I've got to put about... 15 pages um in and still slipped slip those other um bits bits in i'm just looking for that grass again Yeah, I think I like that there. Yeah, let's <clears throat> pop that in. Oh, yeah, I enjoyed making that picture. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, very, very nice. So, that's another uh, no, no sew project. Um, I will put the playlists in uh, the description if you've missed any, or I think I've made some, you know, another time. So, They'll be in there uh, too. So thank you for joining me. Um, I'll put a picture of, of both of them up on the front so you can see um, what what I did with the, with the other one. That's it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.